you're famous uh, beyond music for some of your relationships. <laughs> you know, we there's never a conversation about AKA Casper without an idea somewhere in that conversation. Mm-hmm. But I'm not. Okay, <laughs> was that deliberate? Let me ask. Deliberate me dating AKA. Yeah, let's let's be blunt. I'm, I'm gonna jail. Was was accused oh, of I dating Puff like Daddy. D- to, sp- to, to spite to, someone. To, to, no, so there was not. no spite. I mean, you, you just fresh off a very trending conversation about how you handle that interview. You know, yeah. and as I was as I was driving here, I was just laughing to myself that Nadia has put our reporters and podcasters in a very com- uncomfortable position. Because I think <laughs> for the most part, people will always look at you and think anything goes. Yeah. But I think the way you handle that conversation really kind of got people thinking about like. Um, things issues that female rappers have to deal with yeah and i think in, in the broader scheme of things what daryl i think i was trying to get to was that the conversation that you are a female rapper is problematic because you're a rapper no one no one identifies casper as a male rapper mm. when there's a conversation about hip-hop mm. he's always a rapper mm. so i think um you guys have really pushed i mean yourself as a rapper you've earned the strides if you yeah. look at like what you said amanto mbazana and how that was received and how you held it down i think um you have really earned the right Thank to, you. to to put to speak the way you speak Thanks. but like i, I, I want to come back to this to this recent interview why did you feel the need to address it the way you addressed it um honestly it's it's it wasn't even a thing of i felt the need to address it it was natural to me to address it that way i don't think i would ever want to be in a position where i compromise myself yeah. because of someone else's thought or perception of what they think I'm about or their thought process I'm not going to call him out and say you know and just be problematic because once I do that when a girl throws her toys out the cart it's not seen as empowering and she's a boss it's seen as she's being bitchy and rude you know so you always have to be so much more cognizant of how you're speaking to people even if they're disrespecting you you know and how to educate people during that disrespect I think that's the biggest most powerful thing that you can do is when someone is disrespecting you it is based out of ignorance and if you are able to to shed light on that certain ignorance that they're portraying in that moment, I think that's where I walk out of that situation winning, yeah. you know, instead of just being pissed off and getting angry and saying, screw you and walking out of the stadium. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to disrespect Kai FM. I'm not going to disrespect the other people that were in the room. Yeah. I'm not going to disrespect Sammy T either because he's a legend in his own right. But yeah. I think in that moment, I you could see I was annoyed, yeah. but I was able to get my composure back and just like, you know what, let me just deal with this and explain to him what it really is about and i yeah. think that's what i did so. so obviously i mean a lot of times when you have these conversations in the moment you might not be able to predict to anticipate the reaction mm. the, 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 the audience reaction when you watched it after because i'm sure you did yeah. what was what sort of your feeling towards how you handled it um it was as cringe as i felt it was when the situation was happening yeah. but i think I, I never expected it to get as big as it did it became like super viral you yeah. know but i also didn't want people to really like keep going in at sammy t himself because he is a legend but it's unfortunate because he became the representation of how men in the industry equate women's successes or overlooks women's successes and attributes it to it has to do with a man or you're known for your sexuality or you're known for the way you dress and it became for me a more social conversation of what people think men think about women you yeah, know yeah. and it's just unfortunate that it had to happen to Sammy too because I think he is smarter than that I think he is more woke than that but I think in the moment just I don't know what happened in the moment but yeah. all I'm saying is that it's just unfortunate that it had to be him but it's shedding light on the situations that we have of how men portray or see women yeah. in certain industries and i think that's why all the women were in arms i was also like oh because it's cringeworthy like yeah. don't say nadia the naked chick my, yeah. i know my album is nadia naked, naked yeah, but yeah. call it nadia naked yeah. respect yeah. me enough to know what my album is called and yeah. then ask me why i called it that there's yeah. a reason why i called yeah, it that, yeah. you know but for you to say the naked chick i was just like oh it's problematic, you know yeah. but i can't take his words back for him yeah. you know i can't be like stop mm. you know do it better it's yeah. unfortunate that it, uh, yeah it, it was a great it, it was a great schooling moment and i think it's really dope how you handled it but you know i'm also curious at the same breath i mean you have had to exist in a space that's that's predominantly male dominated yeah. for the most part 
others like perceptions and misconceptions around girls Always. having to slip the way or whatever is there something that you have had to interact with yeah. in your own journey Always. I mean, that's always a conversation with almost every female in any industry. It's a lot of the plot lines for a lot of movies. If yeah. there's a woman that's in an architectural company and she becomes the boss, they already think she's sleeping with the other with boss. The, yeah, so, you know, yeah, yeah. but it's never the other way around. It's never the guy got to the top because he slept with somebody. It's always on his merit and his, yeah. and his work ethic. And that's just the conversation that I think needs to change, that yeah. people need to understand, especially on our continent. You know, I think it's... Yes, in the other continents, they, there's, there's still the same kind of conversation, but in our continent, it's so different because of the way the man is portrayed culturally in our households and culturally in our society. Yeah. That when a woman is doing so well, it's like, mm, are you really though? Like, yeah, did you really, yeah. you, you really know? Did you really do it yourself? Did you really do it yourself? Yeah. Then they start trying to find, I mean,